Hello real fans welcome to real sim marina so today we will be creating some lights for a train simulator so before getting started have a look on this image pause the video and read this okay so before getting started let's install a add on known as briage which will help us to export our objects to our train simulator as igs files so head over to edit tab then preferences then add ons select add ons here and install then head over to the directory which you uh, where you have downloaded your add on so mine is uncompressed so there we go inside briage we have a briage.zip so install this uh, and when you have installed it will show just search for it briage and enable this add on. Enable this, then head over to your Railworks directory and set up your Railworks directory. Then it will show it, shader list built. Okay, then you are good to go. So let's create a point light first. So for creating a point light, you don't need to worry about the geometry of the object because this thing will not be visible when you are playing the route. So you can create any type of geometry and remember one thing this geometry will not be liable for the type of light you want like the lighting effect or light color or the shape anything okay so you don't need to worry about this or you don't need to worry about the textures for the point light okay so I'll keep it simple uh, I'll just scale this up a bit uh, like this okay uh, let me enable my screencast and keys so that you can see what i am pressing here here are my screencast keys okay so i am assigning a material to, to this box and i'll assign a shader for this one i'll keep it a simple shader as i said we don't need to worry about the textures i have created a folder inside my developer folder which we have created in our previous video see here in this view so this was our developer folder which we have created inside which i have created a lights folder and i have made some textures to assign remember you can use any texture it can be plain white plain black anything anything any texture for the point light it doesn't matter it does uh, it won't affect your light uh, lightning color or the shape anything okay so i'll use any or rend randomize this random of them and bind okay so this is it for the point light boys and now let's export this uh, one thing before exporting the object you need to reset your transformations all your transformation like scale rotation location and so i'll select all and let's export this one let's set our textures directory come to scene properties inside which you will find this igs export config and set your trail textures directory like here this is yeah this one accept and now hit export by selecting your object which you want to export head over to the folder here i'll name this as point light so we will be creating blueprint afterwards uh, when we create our fake light too then then we will be creating the blueprint for both of our lights so let me quickly make a lamp post on which i can mount my uh, lighting effects okay so there i go okay so i have applied some textures to it now i am going to assign it some uh, lighting textures so that we can emit the fake lighting effect which is coming from these glasses these faces which i have selected 
so light will be coming out of here now basically for fake light we will be faking all our lighting effects like uh, some light is coming out from here and the a play a, we will cre create a plane on the bottom of this lamppost so on which the light will be falling so we will if fake all of the effects all of the lighting effects so for this one for the glasses i'll choose the immersive glow train immersive glow shader so that uh, we can fake the fake that the light light is coming out of these In, inside light is coming out from these glasses okay so we'll make these glasses a white white texture so i'll use this texture right here I'll use uh, same texture on both of the slots and speckler I want speckler to be 0.5 and nothing else and let's bind these okay uh, and assign so texture is now assigned to these glasses now go to UV editing cause these see when I UV edit these islands when I select these islands, these on the PNG on the image, they are right here. So this area is transparent, so they will, uh, it will be black. Or it will be totally black. If I in material preview two, it will be totally black. So I have to. <coughs> arrange these islands in such a way so that it is in white. So I have. Um, put it in the white region so that's it so now let's create a plane <coughs> let's scale this up a bit i'll use a different material plane let's rename it because i want to use a different shader for this one plane i'll just name it as a plane name whatever you want i'll use add a text shader add a text and i'll use same texture for this one too let's make specular power zero and bind let's uv edit this one and for this remember one thing if you use add a text then set z buffer mode this one z buffer mode let me resize this window z buffer mode to test only now you'll see nice lighting effect right here the light will be falling onto this plane and we'll fake the lightning effect it is showing like this in this uh, blender but uh, when you will export uh, this to the train simulator then you will see that this is perfect <coughs> okay so now we are good to go and let's export this before exporting don't forget to see if i go to my item the scale is zero point uh, in all the direction the scale is different uh, so what train simulator will do it will try to reset it to 111 and if i reset it to like 111 let me save this file first save lamp post okay so if i reset this to 1111 like one oh, one then see how much big it gets so i don't want this thing to happen in the trail works so i'll just hit ctrl z and this is it so i have to press a on the keyboard and so that it will select all and we will reset all of the transformation for all of the objects hit ctrl a and select all transformations and there we go we have our transformation resetted so now it's time to export don't forget to set your textures directory i have set it up earlier when we have created that point light so now export i'll name this as lamppost okay so now we are good to go <coughs> export igs igs file exported successfully so now let's convert our textures to dot .ace files and for doing that we, we will head over to our rws tool and uh, i want to convert all of my textures so i'll use multiple image texture and don't forget when you are creating textures like i have created this one right here so see the details 
so it is in the multiple of two it should be the texture should be in multiple of two it can be your 1k texture 1k texture means 1024 pixels by 1024 or it can be like 205 uh, 2048 by 256 but remember width and height should be in multiple of two otherwise you won't be able to convert your textures in uh, into dot s files so remember those things and let's add select all and next start finish so now let's over to our blueprint editor to create blueprints for our point light and fake light and now scenery lights okay so there we have our igs files and i'll create the point light first the blueprint for the point light first head over to this and add item and blueprint search for blueprint point light blueprint point light point light blueprint there we have it and for creating a blueprint like for creating a point light for which cast shadows i'll just name it as cast shadow cast shadow cast shadow so let me just rename this so that i can find it more easily in my real works newbie let's add a newbie behind this name and we have this okay category will be uncategorized and for geometry id select our igs file copy and collision geometry will be the same and this is the main thing for our lighting this will control all our lighting effects so radius is in meters like 10 meters basically our light will be in form of a circle uh, okay so give it some radius let let's see if you want it to be of the area of 20 then you can multiply pi r square is the formula for area of the circle boys okay so 20 color choose any color you want i'll quickly choose one and a is the alpha value it is the transparency value so uh, it controls basically how much transparent you you want your light light to be like this one this much uh, let's see i want to create like this this type of light and add some more blue to it like this one okay so now cast shadow suppose there is an object in front of your light and you don't want any shadow from that object so just untick this option and if you want shadows from that object then just check this box and day night cycle will control if you want your light to be lit in the daytime so uncheck this box and if you don't want your light to be lit in the daytime then check this box okay and this is it now let's preview a light So this is our light right here, the object, see this and I'll quickly create a light which doesn't cast shadows by copying this blueprint right here, copy and paste, paste and I'll rename this to no shadow. Oh. I accidentally opened my matter sense. And let's edit this blueprint. Newbie no shadow. And for light component, I'll choose another color so that we can differentiate between those. And let's give it a red color like orange and okay and for this i'll just un uncheck these two options and i'll show you this light in the game and let me export these and now for the fake light there for the lamppost we'll create a simple scenery blueprint that is right here and i'll just add newbie in front of it this name so like i can 
find it really quick in my rail box so this is it and we don't need to do anything you can choose the categories where you want your light to be and i'll choose valid in scenarios too so that i can pick those lights in scenario editor and let's export this once again okay so now we are good to go i'll see you in the game so here i am quickly positioning my lights so that you can have a very clear idea of all the working of the lights and what i was telling about the day night cycle and the shadows now as you can see there uh, it is daytime and the red light is lit and the blue isn't showing up right here so it is clear that it doesn't follow any day night cycle so i just set it time 7 pm that is evening and as you can see there is blue light and a red light and i'll show you the effect of blue light on the shadows it's car shadows and the red doesn't so as you can see if i move the blue light then shadow also moves and if i move red light the shadow doesn't move so all things are clear and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you